Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we finished World 8. And in this episode, we will be going and doing the bottles for World 3. Wait, I think I actually said that we finished World 8. No, we finished World 3. In case I said 8. Anyway, um, I'm actually doing something a little bit different with, um, with these bottles. Which I'm going and speeding them up, as you already see. Um, but I think this will go a lot more smoothly, because you pretty much see the ra- because you can still see the route I go, and you still see where exactly I'm getting the bottles. And uh, I actually think it's much better if it's uh, just sped up, because um, because it actually... Bleh. What am I trying to say? I think it's better if I just go and speed these up, because these do take a lot of time, and they are a little monotonous to watch. And, uh, I, co I can completely understand if it, uh, goes and gets tiring for people actually watching these bottle episodes, if they want to keep up with the rest of the series. But, as I already said, um, I think I said this in the first bottle episode that the reason I'm actually having these in different episodes is for the sheer fact that um, that these are in no way connected to the story and people can skip them if they so please. <clears throat> now, um... With this, I actually did have a hard time locating all the bottles. I think it took me about half an hour to get all of them, or something like that. And having this sped up and having it be 10 minutes tells you something already. Because this is double speed. <clears throat> um, but other than that, I think the bottles here were kind of challenging, and also, uh, I'm just showing here that the moat is in fact empty with all the lily pads, and the area you saw earlier was, um, was the area after the, after the fight with Rajan. Um... I do like that little detail where the world changes depending on the jobs that you do. I think I already stated that in the Dimitri bottles. Um, but here it actually goes and uh, shows it a little bit more. Because slightly more has changed since uh, from this one and the last... Uh, from the world when you start to the last job. It actually changes a bit more than the others do. Um, so we're about halfway done with the bottles here. And here I actually go and skip a bottle by complete freaking accident. I'll go and get that one later. But I... Uh, that's the reason I didn't go and get the bottle, because I actually slipped off. Um, hmm. I know I said that, um, that I didn't think I'd be able to do the bottles, and yeah, I seriously didn't think that returning to this world you would be able to play as Sly and Murray. And I'm thinking maybe that the worlds are fixed to have the amount of characters. Because I know in Sly 3, if you don't have um, certain characters at certain times that they won't appear in the other safe houses, I think. I can't remember. Um, oh, but... Uh, here's an interesting bit of trivia for 
uh, slide three. With the first world, uh, you know that uh, Murray has his uh, Australian outfit. If you go back to world one, after you beat the final boss in that in that uh, area, oh, and that's me indicating that I have six 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 as my coin count. Um, you can actually go and play as Murray in his Australian outfit, which I think is really cool. Which I actually think is pretty cool. And there, I actually went and cut ahead to where I find more bottles because I was completely and utterly lost. And I also don't know why I went and skipped all these bottles. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. Just that these are bottles. Bottle missions. Yay! Um, that's where I actually accidentally got the one bottle. And oh boy! Doing the bottles in World 4 is going to be hell. I've actually, as of this, as of the time of the voice recording of this, I've beaten World 4 and, um, haven't even, I haven't done the bottles yet, but I collected two bottles out of order, and I have absolutely no idea where they were. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where exactly I picked them up. I might make note, uh, make note of them, I might not, but I'm actually leaning a little toward not going in of showing them in this just for the fact that um, they were already shown but um, yeah we're almost done we are I believe of uh, five more bottle uh, we need five more bottles and uh, I believe I said this in the of uh, in the last bottle video, but if you go, if you're having trouble with finding any of the bottles, go and turn your music all the way down so that only the sound effects play. That's how I found this bottle. Of, uh, but yeah, that's really all I have to say for of. Uh, for the bottles. Um, and we still have four more to go. Uh, I'm running out of things to say during these bottle episodes. So, I'm sorry if these are very... Uh, if these aren't entertaining while you guys are watching them. If you're trying... If you're using this as a guide to get the 30 bottles. But, um... I just can't find anything to say, it's just collecting the bottles. And a lot of the time the bottles are either really spread out or just really weirdly placed. Like right here. Under a certain uh, building. And some of them are actually some of them actually get kind of crazy with where they are. Of uh, actually, me being chased by the uh, guards was good here because it led me to a bottle. And um, I believe the next bottle is coming up about now. Or okay, I didn't think I left all this in, but oh well. Um, I'm actually mainly going and doing the speed up so that you guys actually see what I'm doing, for, uh, for the most part. So, it's really just, uh, I don't know, but, uh, 
now we have the 30 bottles, and we will be going to Rajan's office to go and get the power-up. So, without further ado, let's go to live commentary. Okay, here we are at Rajan's office. Now, the vault should be in here. There's the bug. And yet, I never showed this off. Here's the vault. Good thing I blew it in Sanskrit, or this last code would have been impossible. Try 386. Alright, let's see what we got. Is this like an electrocute one? Voltage attack. Uh, what's it do? Voltage attack. Electrify your cane. Ooh. That, that is actually pretty cool. Electrify it and the next hit shocks and completely obliterates your opponent. That is awesome. But, like every, like every bottle episode I've done, it wouldn't be complete without one simple thing. A treasure run. Yep, can't have a bottle episode without that. Kind of became a thing, accidentally. Let's grab this one, since it's on the way. Let's be going. I don't care about you. Zaz got a gla empty glass bottle. I'm gonna trap fairies in it. Cause I'm Z Zelda. I know it's Link, but still, Zelda is really funny. Zelda. Saying that Link is Zelda might piss off a lot of Legends of Zelda fans, but come on, it's pretty freaking hilarious. That they would call it the Legend of Zelda and the main character is not Zelda. Hey, 777, I'm so lucky! Actually, I kind of am because I'm recording this during a thunderstorm. <laughs> and it's actually going through. Yay! Alright, so we got that for how much? Ooh, 300... Man, I got a lot of silver pens. 352. Nice. I'm not going to buy any of this stuff right now because, well, there's stuff later on that should be addressed. So, we have fully completed of uh, episode 3, so, next time on Slide 2 Band of Thieves, we will be going into Jailbreak. See you guys next time.